Welcome back to Miked Up. <clears throat> We're excited to introduce our next guest. He is a uh, transfer from Xavier University. I think it's U- Xavier. Is it University of Xavier or Xavier University? I think it's Xavier University. Professor. Adam. It doesn't matter. He's coming from Xavier. He's here. He's going to be a vital part of the pitching staff next year at LSU. Six foot five lefty, Justin Lore. 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 Welcome Justin. to the show. Hey, welcome to the we show, go. man. Thanks for coming, bro. We appreciate go. you. Hey, oh, what appreciate, appreciate you guys having me on. Good yeah. to see you, fellas. Yeah, good to see you too, man. Uh, okay, so you're from Minnesota. You played in Cincinnati. Um, you're coming down south to Louisiana. Are you ready? It's hot down here. So, are you ready for yeah. that? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I've been looking at the forecast. I'm coming down actually two weeks from today. So it, it doesn't look like it's going to get below 90. It, no, in, no. Uh, I think in the looking, la- next month, you're looking at the wrong part right there. You got to you got to check the humidity. That's where it really gets you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been told it's yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. But yeah, I, I think I've said a couple times in some interviews. I'm a big big hunter. I okay. love I love hunting. So I've been told I've been told it's like the hunting paradise down there. Yeah, so what, what kind of what kind there. of hunting what kind of hunting do you like to do? I'm a big waterfowl hunter, so ducks and geese oh, mostly. Then you're gonna be, you're gonna, have, you're gonna enjoy yourself down oh, here. Oh, this is sure. how we landed you. Right. Okay, we I got, got some. Look, I got, <laughs> we got some spots. I'll give, you, I'll, I'll give you some recommendations on where to go. We'll help you out if you enjoy. If you, yeah. Enjoy everyone, on, everyone on Twitter, everyone on Twitter says it's nil. It's, it's the hunting. That's, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> I like that. I, well, if you if you listen to Twitter, they think that everybody is getting offered five hundred thousand dollars to come right. to LSU. That's, exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I mean, I, I hope everybody's getting that. I just doubt that's the case, but. Uh, yeah. Needless to say, we're happy to have you here. We're happy for you that you transfer. What went into your decision to come to LSU? Obviously, you're coming out of your second year, as Xavier. You had a really good year on the mound. Um, what kind of went into your decision to come here to LSU? Obviously, they just won the national championship, so that had to, that couldn't have hurt. Um, but I'm sure <laughs> that you were having conversations before you really made that decision. So, um, you know, what ultimately made you come here? Yeah. So I. Uh... I actually got to come down to the Super Regional against Kentucky um, and just kind of got to experience that whole atmosphere. I mean, I actually was, was talking to Paul Skeens after he pitched on on uh, on that Saturday and was like, man, there's more people in this stadium right now that were at any of my games all season. He was like, you know, he's like, I totally relate, like, you know, Air Force and, and very similar, like, on in terms of, like, mid-majors, yeah. uh, Air Force and Xavier, and it was like, how do you turn that place down? Like, how do you turn down the, the fans are there? They're interacting with every single pitch. It's like, oh, the ball, it's a ball off the plate. And they're like, ooing and eyeing. Like, man, <laughs> this should be, this is crazy, man. Like, I've never experienced anything like that. And then to go with the coaching staff, like, they were so cool. And obviously I committed here when we didn't even have a pitching coach yet. So um, I think that can maybe, maybe says a little bit about how, like, amazing this the place is. And just, yeah, it was really a no-brainer for me, to be honest. Uh, Justin, you had... Two years at Xavier. You, your first year as a freshman, it was, it was pretty solid. You had a you know sub four ERA, but you made this enormous jump from freshman year to sophomore year, and your numbers this past year were were not just good; they were great, right? You had a sub two ERA. You had a ton of strikeouts uh, compared to your innings pitched. What do you attribute to that jump, right? Because you had a you had a solid summer in the Northwoods League, and you come back, and then you have this huge jump forward, right? What what do you attribute to that jump? Was it just kind of getting more comfortable on the mound, just experience in college, or is it something that you tweaked in in your preparation, your delivery, or, or, or something like that? Yeah, so I had a little small like hiccup with my shoulder in terms of at the end of last fall, and it actually put me out for the entire entirety of the fall. So I actually spent uh, two months just basically getting in the weight room. I came in I came into college at. I was six foot five, 180 pounds, and um, I started the season this year at at two 205 basically. So I I put on a bunch of weight um, and actually ticked up my my fastball velocity like three or four miles an hour, and then just you know be more confident. As a freshman, you come in, you haven't faced college college hitters yet. You're afraid to throw strikes. You're thinking every ball that's in the strike zone is going to be a home run. Um, so I think it's just more of a confidence thing. So yeah, I just really really you know grew into my body and just learned how to pitch at a in a confident way. And that's kind of what I think I attribute to my success this year. Going forward, Justin, do you see yourself basically staying along the same programs or the things you don't know? Or is there certain things within your game specifically that you see yourself targeting, trying to get better to kind of push yourself forward again to make another jump as you jump into the SEC this coming year? For sure, yeah. So 
one of the things that I think this is weird because Coach Johnson's a, a hitting coach, um, but along along the lines of when I was on my visit, um, they, they want me to start. So basically we're looking at developing a curveball. So I have, I'm mostly a three pitch mix guy right now. So I have a fastball curveball or fastball sinker slider change up and they're looking to develop a curveball that I could just flip in there um, to get ahead of counts. Oh, oh, you know, just to show something else other than my slider because my slider is my out pitch right now. Um, so that's something that I really am looking forward to. Like once I get on campus working on that and then also I'm only, like I said, I'm still only 205. I have a lot of room to grow um, in terms of um, weight. Um, I actually got to meet, I, I think, I think uh, he was actually on the ESPN podcast or ESPN radio the other day was the chef, um, the chef for the student athletes. Man, he was amazing oh, yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. on my visit. Okay. Um, he's, he's so cool. And we didn't, we didn't have any of that I stuff mean, when we are here. We didn't have any of that. No right, chefs. I'm sure. No chefs. Yeah. Right. Hungry yeah. Alley. So that's something that just, yeah, just improving my nutrition. That's something that I think can take me to the next level. And I think that's something that Paul really also said was something that made him, you know, take that next leap. And I'm going to, I'm going to hopefully use that to my advantage as well. So you're saying only 205. Yeah. I caught that. Um, was a jump <laughs> from 180. That's 25 pounds. Uh, really slickly. You just kind of like say to just kind of jumped in there. Talk to me about <laughs> where like where you've been when you showed up to school, were you a late bloomer? Were you always six, five? Did you grow some inches too? Like what kind of went into this whole like difference in body style right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I committed to Xavier when I was really young. I was actually throwing uh, like an 80, a, a smooth 82 miles an hour when I committed there. <laughs> I don't know. How I, I don't know why the coach offered me. I mean, I, uh -huh. honestly, we like loyal um, guys. We like that. We, we, we really like that. Right. Right. So um, when I went to when I showed up my freshman year, I was I was throwing like 84, 86. Um, just not really great, um, honestly. Um so then, yeah, I made the I made the leap my freshman year. I put on like uh, of my freshman to sophomore year, put on around twenty five pounds, um, and that just you know ticked my velo way up. You know, it's just I think it's I really just didn't take the weight room very seriously in high school, and I once I got to college, it was something that you know I made a priority. So for the guy, for people who don't haven't watched you pitch, your velo went from eighty four, eighty six, eighty seven to what is it now? Mostly towards the end of the year, I was ninety one, ninety three. Um, yeah, that plays. Yeah, that with some plays. sink, with some sink, with a slider, with a little change, maybe flip a curveball. You got a chance. Kid. Yeah, that plays. That plays big <laughs> right, time. Yeah, it's only going to get better. Obviously, the more the stronger you get, exactly. the more you sustain it. Um, mm -hmm. We're doing a little research on you, right? So obviously, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you come from Minnesota. You're a Minnesota Vikings mm -hmm. oh, fan. Okay, then. Yeah, Minnesota. Eh? No, yeah. that's Canada. Minnesota. No. Yeah. Minnesota. No, it's basically Canada. It's basically it's Canada. Basically Canada. Yeah. I've, look, I played up yeah. there. I played. I played. I played in Minneapolis. I, I I'm kind of familiar mm -hmm. enough with it. Um, mm -hmm. You've tweeted about Justin Jefferson. Now you get to come to LSU and you get to play at his alma mater. You also were a three port three sports star in high school, according to your bio <laughs> from Isaiah. You played baseball, okay. obviously, football, yep. right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And soccer, which yeah, blows my. Being the kicker. You're a kicker. If you want to be comfy in the kicker, I was the kicker. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Hey, look, look, there's a lot of kickers we were thinking. Are important. We were thinking uh, like a three tech, like nose tackle or something. That's what we were kind of going with. Yeah, based off body style, we thought yeah, you were like 180 a... pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 180 pounds yeah. with a nose tackle. Yeah. I don't know. We didn't know yeah. the size of the high school. We weren't sure. Yeah. You know, we didn't know. But the one right, that caught yeah. my attention, the one that caught my attention was soccer, right? Because you're six okay. five and you were young. So usually, when like the guys that I knew that were six five in high school. Uh, hadn't really developed into their bodies, so they weren't as coordinated, right, as some that they would probably would have been a few years later. But soccer, you have to be coordinated. You don't see many six foot five mm -hmm. soccer players. So can you talk about yeah. how those sports have helped you become a better pitcher, athlete on the mound? For sure. Yeah. Um I'm a very athletic person, I there think. You um I you know you think about some of those players, I, I know a couple that I played with in the past that literally, like, you watch them, they're pitchers in the outfield, and they're trying to, like, field a fly ball, and it's like, <laughs> God, like, just stop. Yeah, yeah, right. You're going <laughs> to hurt yourself. Like, that's not me. Right, exactly. Um, that's not me. Like, I'm, I'm a very, you know, athletic person. I think it's – and I played hockey growing up all the way through my freshman year of high school. So, um, it's just – I don't know. I think it just – it really helps. You know, I, I, I think, you know, some coaches talk about it now. It's like people are specializing so young. Um, in one sport, it's like, just have like experiences. Like I have so many friends just from other, other teams that I played on, like 
football players that I would never talk to if I didn't play football. It's like now they're like friends, you know, it's like just have fun and experience other things and put your, like get out of your comfort zone because I had never kicked the football until my senior year of high school. And then we win the state championship my senior wow. year. Did you have any so, big kicks, oh, big kicks, any big kicks? Same thing. Here, one sec, one second here. Oh, back. let's go. <laughs> let's go. Look at that. There you go. There you go. You got you got to get a little bit bigger of one when you – there we go. You got to get bigger right. when you come here and you'll win the World Series again. You go back to back. You get that bigger angle. Exactly, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I made – we won 14-13 in the state championship game, so I had to make the extra point. There you go. There you go. There you go. Did they ice you? I'm sorry? Did they ice you? Oh, did they ice me? No. No, because I think there was like – 30 seconds left, and they wanted to save their timeout or something. Where do y'all play the state championship game in high school? Uh, well, it actually was COVID that year. So we had to play uh, it at our high school, or our high school field, but usually it's in the Viking Stadium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the Vikings, yeah. have you been watching quarterback documentary with your boy? Eric? I did. I already watched all of it. How do you like it? How do you like it? I, I like it. I think – I think the general like consensus in Minnesota is everybody kind of like dislikes Kirk Cousins. Right, which I don't get. I don't understand um, that. We gotta get his pain I tolerance know, he, up a little bit. He gets bit. a lot of hate. He does get a lot of hate. I mean, he's one of the most accurate. It's it's here's really what what pisses people off is it's like <laughs> third and eight, yeah. and he throws the ball two yards down the field, and then you know, <laughs> like, come on, man, just throw it to the sticks. I don't yeah. care if JJ's double covered, just throw it to him. You know. I like it. Like, so wait, on, so wait. It. So after watching the show, do you like him more? You like him less, or are you still right in the same spot with him? I like him more just yeah. because you see like their real life, you yeah. know, you see him as a real person, not just the guy there on the football field. Not just the third and eight guy, right? You get to see a little more of him. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, he's got to get his pain tolerance <laughs> up a little bit. I mean, the guy was Dude, he's getting his ass kicked, bro. He's getting hit hard. Come on. He had like half a rib left yeah. towards the end of the season. Exactly. I, exactly. I, don't, I don't give a shit. The way he shows it is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Constantly grunting, running yeah. out of the field. Like, like yeah. the defender's in his face. He's letting him know, hey, this hurts. Please don't hit me hard. <laughs> Right. The, the, the defensive line is, ah, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. As he crushes three of his ribs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Justin, yeah. coming in, coming in, right? Obviously, you know about the humidity and the hot and the heat and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And you know about the hunting, obviously. What are some of the other things mm -hmm. that you're looking forward to coming down here? Not only just, like, playing for LSU and the fans, but, like, what are you looking forward most to experience around Baton Rouge? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question, man. Um, man, that's a really good question. I mean, have you heard of anything? Have you said, like, oh, man, like football games no, obviously I mean, are pretty honestly, special. Yeah, honestly, I haven't heard much, to be honest with you. Um, I'm excited for the football games, to be honest with you, because I'm coming from a really small school that never – that all we have is a basketball team. Right. Um, and and the basketball games are like, yeah, they're fun, but, like, it's, it's nothing compared to college football. So that's one thing I'm really, really excited for. Um, as you guys said, I'm a big Justin Jefferson fan. So I already ordered an LSU Justin Jefferson well jersey. Let's go. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if you're familiar with DH Gate, if anybody's familiar with DH Gate. No, I do not. I'm not. Maybe? Okay, it's like an off-brand like jersey site. It's for like it's for oh, people like me, yeah, college students yeah, that have no money. Yeah, nice. <laughs> well, it's for people like me. Yeah. Hey, there's a good chance that they won't come <laughs> exactly. in. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're getting uh, so I'm getting a jersey. It's like it's literally thirty dollars, and it comes and it's the same exact uh, same exact quality and everything of the normal jersey. Oh, wow. But it just takes like two months to get here because it's coming from China. It's not China. Yeah. Out, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be here. It'll be here by opening day then. Basically. Yeah, supply chain. Ho hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Supply chain. Floyd, you got something? Exactly. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Justin, but um, Coach Jay does have some family up in Minnesota. Crazy Uncle Doug. He's a big hockey guy. So. What? Oh yeah. How do you okay. know this? I, I, I'm in with the. Uh, you are. You are. Yeah. When you talking about it, yeah. Same with yeah. broke the fourth wall. Same with Coach Yaski. Yes. Oh, Same oh, with Coach Yaski. Yeah. 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 Well, that's actually my next mm -hmm. question is, um, you know, obviously yep. you committed to LSU without a pitching coach, right? And Nate Yeski mm -hmm. comes in yep. here. I'm sure you're kind of familiar with him based off of him being mm -hmm. uh, from Minnesota. What are the conversations like with him? Obviously, you talked about trying to get him third, uh, trying to, to, to develop a curveball, develop a breaking ball. What else has he talked to you about, things that he wants to improve in your game? Yeah, it's kind of funny. So when I was in the portal, I, I talked to a bunch of different schools, and one of them was Texas A&M huh. um, and him. Yeah. So uh, I had actually narrowed down my list. I was down to two schools, LSU and Tennessee, and they were like just they came in really late. So I was talking to him, and I was like, I've heard really, really good things about him. And I was like, I'm going to really like this guy, and I'm going to have to start considering Texas A&M, aren't I? Like, yeah. And, of course, 30 minutes later, I get off the phone with him. I'm like, I love this dude. Like, 
he was so cool, whatever. And, and I was like, but you know, they just don't really compete with LSU in my opinion. So um, I was actually on my visit. And when Jay was like, you know, who, I, like, we have a few options. And I'm like, I literally said, I was like, I'm hoping one of them's Yeski. And then three weeks later, here he is. But um, he's really good with left-handed pitchers. And I knew that um, when I talked to him originally. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to like getting down there with him and seeing what he can do to develop me. Um, yeah. I mean, just an awesome dude. And what he's told me so far is uh, this is my first summer home since we're not playing any summer ball right now in a long time. He's like, just be a kid, you know, like yeah. go to your cabin, you know, you know, play catch with your dad, like whatever we're, we have plenty of time. Like the difference between Xavier and LSU is we don't start fall ball till October here. And like when we get a, on campus at Xavier, it's like, immediately we start, you know, right. scrimmages and whatever. So like you have time to build your arm up once you get on campus um, at LSU. So like, he's just like, have fun. Like, don't, you know, obviously like lift, like that's what I'm doing now is I've already, I've already put on, I'm already like, I left the season at 200 pounds. I'm already 212 now. It's wow. like, it's you know, just, you just out here work. You just work. Yeah. It's just a lot of breakfast is my thing. You know, uh, big, too. Um, six Mine eggs. Too. Mine too. I'm a big breakfast. So I'm like six eggs, three sausages and some yogurt and a protein milk for, for breakfast. It's go. like, it's just, it's perfect, you know? And, and that's the thing that I liked about him. He was like, just so laid back and just, you know, yeah. have fun right now. We'll get to work when you get to campus, you know? So I get my question to you is this is obviously you, it's a big decision to put your name in the portal. You make that decision. That part of it is done. You talk to a lot of schools is there a specific time that you could point to where you just – you knew? Like the decision was made in your mind. I know this is where I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and make the decision now. Yeah, I mean, I took – so kind of how the timeline worked out for me was I went to the Super Regional, and then the following week, a few days later, I took my visit to Tennessee, and I was only taking two visits. Um, and I kind of went in the mindset was like, Tennessee's going to have to kind of like blow me away to like make me consider them in a way. Um, so like when I left the visit at, at, against or with LSU, I kind of knew like this is kind of the place I want to be. Like it's going to be really hard to say no to this place. It's basically impossible to say no to this place. Like that's the way I looked at it. So it was like once the visit with Tennessee was over, it was kind of like I'm sitting in the airport. I'm like on my way home. I'm like, OK, I'm, I'm going to LSU. Like I know that this is what I want to do. So that's kind of when it hit me. And, and it, it was a pretty easy decision towards the end. Did you buy the hat at the Super Regional or did you buy it after? <laughs> I bought it. You'll think this is funny. On my flight home from Tennessee. Oh, oh let's go. From Tennessee. Go. Oh, that's great. I love that. I, I love well, that. I hope my tell is not watching this somehow. But yeah. Wait, hold on. Time out. Where did you find this on the flight? Where did you did you order it? I, I ordered it. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I ordered it. It's, it's 47brand.com. It's yeah. my favorite hat oh, brand. Yeah, great. That's I was wondering game. if it came from the same brand, uh, the same company yeah. you were just talking Chinese about. Chinese website. You just got it in like yesterday or something. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Uh, um, you mentioned that LSU wants you to be a starter. Is Was mm -hmm. that – when you went into the portal, was that something that was important to you? You went in the portal saying, I want to be a starter wherever I transfer to, or is that something that you were open to doing mm -hmm. either one? I honestly want to do whatever, like whatever is best for the team to win. Um, that's kind of how the mindset I had at Xavier too. Like I thought I was going to be a starter going in, but then they were like, Hey, we need you to close and like pitch the best, the most important innings at the end of the game. And I was like, okay, if that means that we're going to win and we're going to go to a regional, then I'll do it. You know, like that's the same mindset I have now. Like some people want to say, you know, you want to be a starter because it's better for your draft stock. It's like, who, like, who cares? Like, let's just win right now. You know? Yeah. Um, and obviously that's, it's something that I want to do. Like being a starter, it's better because you get in a routine. You can, you know, yeah. it's just better. It's overall nicer to be a starter in like, in my opinion, because you don't know when you're going to pitch when you're a reliever, you can't like lift on certain days because you're afraid you're going to pitch the next day, you know? So it'd be nice to be a starter, but I'm going to, I'll do whatever it takes to win. You know, that's, I'm a, I'm a winner. So, yeah. You mentioned you talked with Paul Skeens a little bit. Did he have any <laughs> influence on that? Because he was obviously coming from Air Force was a catcher, then a closer, and then he comes to LSU and he's obviously the Friday night guy. Did he mention anything about kind of like finding your way through the rotation, whether it be at the bullpen or being a, you know, pseudo starter or whatever it may be for mm -hmm. like whatever's best for the team? Yeah, so Paul's kind of a, a cool story. So I, one of my best friends from um, high school actually went to Air Force as well and played there. Um, is actually one of Paul's like good buddies there. Um, so I got his phone number and I was texting him a little bit before I was even came down. I was actually texting him 
that Saturday, literally like 30 minutes before I thought was supposed to be the first pitch. Oh, um, and then it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. I'm like, dude, you're pitching in 30 minutes. Why are you texting me right now? And then I didn't, I went on Twitter and saw it got, you know, <laughs> delayed. But yeah, he's like, he kind of paved the way for people like me to make that jump to a bigger program. So like it, it's, yeah, he did have some influence in that and like showing how well they can develop transfer guys and, you know, how it worked out for him. So I'm, I'm obviously, it's a tall ass to do what he did, but I want to have, I'm looking to have success in the same, in the same ways that he had. Did anybody recognize you whenever you came on your visit? Cause that's about to change immensely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I, I saw a picture, I guess, cause I, I like Twitter a lot. Like, it, I have threads, whatever, but Twitter's way better in my opinion. Um, <laughs> And I, I was going through Twitter, and I think I saw somebody. You guys might have retweeted it um, as Adam well. But it, someone like had a picture of me talking to Coach Jordan while I was at the Super Regional. Uh, like I was like standing in the tunnel or something, and they're like, "There he is!" Like they took a picture of me. I'm like, "What? Exactly <laughs> like, how do you know who I am?" Yeah, that's uh, like, that's normal here. Yeah, get ready. <laughs> Come get ready. on. The media the media coverage here for right. just college baseball is. It's pretty special, man. It really is. And it's, uh, yeah. I don't think there's really any other place like it in the country. It's unmatched. unmatched. Yeah, it's unmatched. Yeah. No, no yeah, it seems like it's, it's, it's really cool. Well, dude, I appreciate you coming on. We're going to have you on the show a lot more. Your personality is electric. I love it. You kind of <laughs> understand, you understand the concept of the show. We're not very mm -hmm. serious, but we try to get the information out of you, get you feeling comfortable. I feel like kind of, you know, part of the boys, part of the squad, right? So, um, right. Yeah. man, good luck to you. Looking forward to seeing you when you come into Baton Rouge. Uh, when you're in town, hit us up. Love to show you around, give you recommendations, whatever you need. But uh, you're going to love it down here, man. It's The fan base is, like Jared said, unmatched. And uh, it's, it's a very, very, very fun place to, to be and play. So looking forward to you. Pumped that you're part of the squad, part of the group. And uh, looking forward to watching you pitch, man. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Anytime, bro. Take it easy. All righty. See you. Later. All righty, then. Okay. Okay. What a what a personality! He yeah. just came in here and stole the show. He's comfortable. I like it. Like some, he's he's comfortable in his own skin.